pretty dark clouds coming on this way. I'm not sure if they're coming this way, but it's a thunder, thunder roaring over there. But yeah, just got to my boat and oh, there was a flash. Where's the thunder? Oh, yeah, that was pretty far away. Oh yeah, so. Today is an exciting day. I finally did it. I bought a new battery. It's over there. And it's um, 110 amp hours deep cycle. It's Victron, which is a. Uh, that is a good brand, I know, because it wasn't cheap. It cost like 290 euros which is about the same in in US dollars but yeah so with that and the 12 volt battery which is under there which is the same size but different brand but they looks they look really similar so I'm gonna hook those up in series to replace the 24 volt batteries over here. Well, I'm gonna ditch the uh, the broken one over there, the bad one. I'm gonna keep the good one if it's still good, and use that for 12 volt system. Yeah, but I think it's gonna rain soon, so that's not good for the electrical stuff. And I have to do some stuff under the cockpit, which is open to the rain. But yeah. It's really messy inside here. I need to do some stuff over here also. So while it starts raining, I'm gonna do some other stuff and then come back to the battery thing. But now I have the chance to test out my rainwater collector thing that I I didn't try it last year. Well, I planned it last year, but I never test it out but yeah I think I'm gonna try that if I can before the rain starts but this bucket is for that also these things so it's gonna attach it's between the panels to the corners over there and it should get some water in it well if I get any water I can now pour it into my shower tank that is over there Let's get into it. Well, that was a quick shower, but now I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna collect the water, the rainwater. So, yeah, it rained pretty hard, but for just like 10 minutes or something. Look at there when I heal the boat. Can you see? Well, they should come on the corner, and most of it comes, some of it comes from the side. And I think I can use some kind of a. Let me do it some more. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of water. If I can put some uh, silicone or something on top of that to guide the water to flow on the corner, and then I'm gonna put the bucket under it. But I didn't have the time to put it now because the rain started so fast. And it's still raining. I'm gonna wait for a moment. Yep, the rain stopped. Now I'm gonna show you how much water is on the panels. Well, most of it's gone, but let's see. So the idea is to put the bucket over there. And maybe do some silicon like strips to here to prevent it from pouring from here because I have tilted these panels like this like this and that like that so most of the water pours into the corner over there 
But yeah, now I'm gonna figure out how I'm, how I'm gonna put the bucket. Attach it over there. Sunshine! So, there was another shower. What went by? There might be a, another one coming from over there, but... Yep, uh, for the bucket, for the bucket, it's yeah, here. Yeah. So, I did these kind of uh, things over here. I'm gonna attach these to the side of the panels. And it's kind of a nice, quick release to get it out. And yeah, hopefully it works. But in the meanwhile, before I do that, I'm gonna open the battery and charge it a little bit because I don't think it's full. So that I can hook it up today with the other battery, which is full. Let's see. Yep, that's as full as it can get. There's no charge coming from the panel because it's chopped. Yep. So I'm gonna do that because it might take a while to charge that. But I wanna get both of them maxed at charge before I put them in series. So let's open the box. Yep. Now I'm gonna get my charger down below and then run the cable from the shore to here so I can start to charge it. So I just put the charger on, now it's gonna figure out what what is the voltage. Check the voltage it was uh twelve 0.5 and uh, there's a selection for the type of battery usually I use the uh, gel because that's I think that's for AGM but it also has the deep cycle and this is also deep cycle so I'm gonna use that for the first time and I put the power to 15 amps which is the max charging current for this charger so, I'm gonna leave that there and do other stuff. So, yep, it started to rain again, but I got the bucket, attach it. So now I can test it. It works. And the battery is... 95% charging it's 15 amps and the charging voltage is 14.2 that's pretty high but I think it's okay for the deep cycle battery I'm not sure I think I have to google that to be sure yeah so I haven't got much done because it's raining and then it's not raining. I'm also helping some some girls. They had trouble with the, their outboard motor. First they couldn't get it started. And I got it to start but it was running. Well, I don't know almost anything about gasoline outboard motors. But I've been, you know, working with different kind of a motors well using tools that use motors like the um the lawn mowers and that kind of stuff so yeah i know something about you know starting it and the basic stuff so i got it to run but it wouldn't stay and uh there are three girls and they are um, the first time they are about to go to sail uh without any um instructor like they said they had this kind of a teacher with them many times but now they're gonna go on their own and yeah. 
So I'm gonna help them to get the outboard motor. There's some trouble also with the connection. So I've been doing that, but it's okay because the battery, battery is still charging, so I can't do anything with that. Now I got the time to test out the um, water cooler. I think there's some water over there. You can see the dark line. So let's go and raining stuff from there. Let's go and heal the boat and see what happens. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff going from the side, so I think I'm gonna glue some kind of a insulation tape over here so that it should direct it to here. Yep, another shower and it lasts like maybe 50 minutes. So also this is my windshield just the windshield part of that so without the support it's just hanging over here that prevents the water from falling into the cabin yep but look at that almost half half a bucket just 15 minutes and it's still pouring in I say success. So it's again raining a little bit. I've been waiting for like an hour or two. The showers to stop so I could do something outside. But I'm also getting hungry. So what to do? Don't have any kind of a decent food here. But I got this noodles. So I need hot water. The water tank is empty. The tap over there. Got my kettle here. But haha! -ha! I got almost full bucket of water over there. Rainwater that is. So I'm gonna take that. Well, there's a design flaw because <laughs> I have to tilt it way up here to take it off. So I think I need to pour it directly to here. So let's see how it works. So if you can see it, it's pretty good. That much. Way too much stuff on my kitchen table. But let's see. The only problem might be that I don't have enough juice on my batteries because that one is so weak. It might turn the whole system down because this is pulling 13 amps from the batteries but we cannot see yep let's see what happens to the battery voltage well you can see yep it dropped 25.6 if it drops below 23 or something then I don't know, I don't remember the exact voltage, but at some point the solar panel charger, which is, um, which I use for all my, almost all of my 24 volt uh, electric consumption, it goes through the solar charger over here, so I can monitor it from here. So as you can see now, it helps 
to have a little sunshine over there. There's about an amp or something. Well, not now. Just dropped below. It's now 24 volts. Let's see what happens. It's gonna take like 10 minutes to boil that. Yep. But let's see if the system can handle it. So you can see now, it's drawing about 13 amps, but only 10 amp, 10.6 amps warm from the batteries. The rest is coming from directly from the sun now. So yeah. Uh, it's now 23.1. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see what happens. Aha! Uh -huh. But the sun came in to the rescue. It was 22.3 at the. Well, let me see it. It was 22.3 at the lowest. I'm only getting 2.5 amps from the batteries. All the rest is coming from the sun directly to the kettle. I got my noodles over there waiting. So yep. Oh, there's gonna be a clouds. Oh, come out, son. Boil my noodles. Just few more minutes. You can do it. Don't go shade on me. Oh yeah, you made it. You got my noodles boiled. And the voltage goes up, or should get up. Now when the load is down. Yeah. Let's do the noodles. <laughs> 